Hold on. The black dragon box. Oh, this box is yours, you say? No, my precious, my precious. Sneevels do really like their boxes. I will make you a deal. If you help me with my quests here in the forest, I will let you have the box. Agreed? Say no! Say no! Say no! Alright, golden opportunity. A golden opportunity. Time to steal from the rich, specifically Richard the Vile, one of the bandits who just kidnapped one of King Altheon's caravans. A reliable source informed me that the gold was to be a birthday gift for one of the king's three daughters. Oh yeah? Interesting. Alright, so most of the time, like, the the companions aren't that spectacular a lot of the time, but when when I'm doing, like, quests in their area, I do like to take them with me just because it's, just because I like, I like what they add. Just even if it is only a little bit of extra damage. You've reached level 7, 20 health, 5 mana, 5 stat points. I'll eventually have enough gold to, I don't know, do something. Oh, poison. I typically don't use the damage over time skills that often. Unless I'm doing it for a very specific reason. The uh, exception being stun will hurt someone for the three turns that they're stunned. Or daze is what it's actually called, for example. Alright, I guess let's do it right away. There we go. Sometimes if one of them blocks one and the other one hits, I forget what order it is. I think if it blocks the first hit and takes the second one, You'll still do, the, still do the damage over time, but, uh, but you won't stun them. The uh, opposite is true as well. If it blocks the second one, but you hit them the first time, they will be stunned, but they won't do the damage over time. So, cool. Oh, I forgot to go back to full screen. My bad. Um... I'm probably going to do the two Ravana quests, and then call it a recording. Or maybe just this Robin a quest and then call it a recording? I don't know. I don't remember how long this will be. I went super quiet for no reason. Oops. <laughs> I just kind of zoned out for a minute. 
My bad. I don't know. I think I started thinking about something later in the game that I definitely don't want to say out loud right now because spoilers. Oops. I did not mean to just go super silent there for a minute. Dude, wait. Do I have to walk all the way up into the bandit camp? To the bandit camp and then into it and through it? Oh, man. That's going to be a bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. I don't know exactly how I mispronounced the words I was saying, but I said it weird. Ouch. I really am gonna have to, like... Man! That's not cool. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Also not too... You see, funny thing is that in early game, they, the, the party members that are your friends that you can take with you almost never get attacked. In the later game... It, ha it just so happens that they get attacked just as much, or if not more than you, sometimes. It's weird. Not that it really matters that much. Well, actually them getting attacked more than you is more helpful than it is harmful, since uh, whenever you get killed is when it'll take you back, not... If you die, it's game over. If, let's just say if my character were to get killed, I could not continue to try and shoot Robina, or have Robina shoot this guy to death. Death. Oh, there we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna have to use smoke in a minute. Maybe have to heal, too? I don't know. At least Robin will be able to take out this middle guy here. Not too worried about that. Mm. Oh, really? Gah. Letting me down, Ravana. Also, I don't know how true this is anymore, but it used to be that, like, whenever you take people with you, the uh, HP of everyone or everything that you come across, or at least bosses, would increase to, like, rubber band to your party member. To, well, to compensate for you having a party member. Which. Yeah, it used to do that. I don't think it does anymore. Or, because it would be super frustrating. Taking someone with you and then having, like, all three extra damage that Robina or any of the other... Because most of the companions aren't super helpful. 
Like, uh, they just do a little bit of extra damage here and there. There are maybe two or three instances I can think of that having one of your allies actually is solid. Well, no, that's not strictly speaking true. Alright, there's like two instances in the beginning of the game, and then later in like chapter three, it gets better. Like, they give you... If you have someone you can recruit to help you out for whatever quest chain you're doing with them, uh, they're typically good enough to take with you just because, yeah, they'll do enough damage to where it feels a little more helpful than just ten here and there. Not that I don't appreciate the extra little damage that Robina does here, but, you know, it's not make or break stuff. Yeah. Excuse me. I chose to do this kind of late at night, like it was after midnight by the time I started recording. Oh, I did decide to heal. I couldn't even remember. Or I forgot what I decided to do. Alrighty. Well, that makes things simple. Treasure box. 22 gold. You fought your way through the Dark Wolf Bandits to their forest hideout and recover their stolen chest with Robina. Or for Robina. What could you want with all this gold? Alright, heal. See what the uh, timer is at. Alright, that didn't take super long. We'll do this second one here. No, no, not bounty hunting. Because I don't think that... I, I think the quad force is optional. Give till it hurts. <laughs> give until it hurts. You did great taking that chest of gold from the bandits. Now we're going to give it all away. Go knock out some random forest creatures and put that gold on them. What? You didn't think I was serious. Where do you think all those monsters got that gold in the first place? I uh, don't remember. Oh god. Unicogre. <laughs> All right. So early on in this game, weird mashups of creatures was very commonplace. I feel like now they found more of like an aesthetic for the creatures that they're gonna go for, and really like gorilla fence and unicougars there are more of early game instances. Well, that's not strictly speaking true. I guess, nah, there are really... Mm, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just remembering things wrong. Because, like, Gorilla Fant, that's obviously Elephant and Gorilla, very Avatar The Last Airbender-like with its uh, creature combination and combining there. <laughs> I just oh, man, I just reminded me, that just reminded me of, uh, like, late in Season 2 when they got the bossing say, and the uh, Earth King. You didn't have, like, a magic bear or a bear with, like, anything else. It was just a bear. And they were so weirded out by that. But yeah. So, I think I just always have, like, remembered it being, like, gorilla fans and unicougars and a lot more stuff of that nature with, like, the Avatar crossing one thing with the other. But now that I think about it, it doesn't happen as often as I remember. It's like clock in here or clock in here are just relatively commonplace things. You run into them a bunch. Also, you're not really fighting creatures that often as, mu as opposed to like, well, you're not exactly fighting forest dwelling creatures that often. I feel like you're more likely to run into spiders or something. Spiders or bees. 
none of which are very fun. Alright. 